I am leaving because I'm getting my birth control taken out and I just feel so relieved like I feel so relieved okay so stay tuned for the story time my experience with the next one on all my birth control experiences this is my fake little intro and let's get into the video What is up? It's your girl, it's just K, and today I'm back kind of with a little, a little different kind of video. So today I'm going to be doing a sit down video. I didn't want to do this in my car, but I'm really sitting here doing nothing and I'm like, okay, I want to get this out to y'all. So today I'm going to be talking about my next Panon experience. Um, I've actually just gotten it taken out. So I'm just here to kind of give y'all uh, my experience, uh, what happened to me, how long I've been on it, what I recommend it. So stay tuned to get all of those details. So um, over here is my next Nexplanon scar. This is where my next Nexplanon used to be inserted. I do have a few pictures that I'm gonna try to include. Um, of different times that I got it. So for starters, the next one on, of course, is a birth control that they put inside your arm. It's good for three years and then a simple procedure. It takes like two seconds to take it out, two seconds to put it back in. They do numb your arm so you don't feel it when they're doing it, which is a plus, but the, um, I guess the lidocaine, I think that's what it's called. Don't, don't quote me. The lidocaine does burn a little bit. So, I have some notes here so let's get into my notes so for one I've been on birth control since fifth grade to help me with my irregular periods um I do definitely remember being in elementary school getting my period and them being heavy like I'm talking about like pads wouldn't stay on for long um I would constantly have accidents you know schools khaki just because i like it was a lot it was very very heavy my flow was very heavy so when i first got on birth control i actually was on the depo shot because i can't take birth control pills because i can't be introduced to estrogen due to my heart problem i do have tetralogy of flow so my birth control options are limited so i can't take birth control pills so I started off with the depo. However, over time, I maybe took the depo shot maybe two or three times possibly. And the depo shot made me gain like 10, 15 pounds. Luckily, I was in the process of going to like middle school. So I started getting active in sports. So I was able to, you know, shake that weight back fast. But yeah, the first time I got the next Nexplanon, I got it when it was called the Implanon. Like, I think they, you know, ended up changing names or whatever. So when I first got it, I started off with the Implanon. Like I said, they do put it in your arm. And I had that for three years. Everything was pretty good. You could feel it. Like, well, you know, when you go over your arms, you are supposed to feel it. If you can't feel it, that means it's probably too deep. Um... You want to check it every now and then to make sure it's there so it was good when i went for my three-year mark to actually get it taken out it was actually kind of like stuck in my arm like not stuck but they did i guess over time it went too deep or they might have put it too deep i don't know exactly why it got stuck but it took them like an hour and a half to take it out of my arm now like i said they do numb you during that process so i personally didn't feel it like even when they were like moving and grooving and doing whatever they had to do i didn't feel that i was literally just sitting there like this and she was just doing everything so and then she put it back in and it took two three seconds no problem now the first time the first three years when i have my next plan on implant on whatever i will say that i did not get a um period of cycle regularly regular regularly <laughs> i would get it maybe three four times a year like i wasn't getting it like every month i wasn't getting a period um 
it was definitely like maybe three or four times a year maybe five like for the first three years which was fine i didn't have a problem with that i mean hey um let's let's struggle for me right it's were like kind of normal like and most maybe my periods lasted like eight nine ten days like wasn't wasn't too too bad okay so the second time i got it my body kind of started you know regulating at that point i was actually getting a period every month so at that point you know when i get my second one it's been six years like it's been three years so by the time i did it the third year year three through six my body was like okay sis <laughs> we blessed you enough um you're finna get this period so <laughs> i got my period and they still weren't too too bad um me personally if you ask me i have different periods so i have the periods where my cramps are a lot but my periods light like my flow is light my flow is heavy but maybe my cramps are light sometimes they last short sometimes they last long so i never like was in a predicament to where i can say oh my period just came on i know i'm gonna be off in four or five days like it was never like that for me um maybe now it'll be like that hopefully i'm not sure so the third time that i got it which was actually in june of 2020 i believe that's when all hell broke loose my third time getting it which will be year six <laughs> is when all hell broke loose now keep in mind like i said i've been on birth control since fifth grade i've been on the next plan for a while um within that time towards the end of my second like the end of my second year i did get on um antidepressants i do have high functioning anxiety and i do struggle with depression i don't know if that's because of the birth control i've been on it so long i really don't know all i know is i take antidepressants and the birth control probably didn't help if it wasn't because of the birth control i'm not going to sit here and say oh birth control gave me depression and anxiety but i know it is possible some people have said that it did mess up their mood which definitely could be the case we'll see i am going to do three months six months nine months you know a year update to see kind of like you know what's going on so the third time i got it like i said all hell broke loose i got it during the summer y'all know um covid you know still going on but this is when covid first happened covid first happened and my next plan on actually expired while it was in my arm and it was my fault really I, not really my fault but i guess i just wrote down the wrong date or something i don't know but it expired while it was in my arm and when i went to the doctor to get a new one they had to order it and y'all know shipping and all that was delayed so i was technically off of birth control for a good month and a half hitting two months i think what happened is during that time i think strongly that my body regulated and since I had been on birth control for so long, me being off of birth control and then getting back on, my body like rejected it. It was not here for it. It did not want it. It was confused. It didn't know what to do because I had never had the problems like I've had the third time I've gotten it. Oh, also during the time when my body was regulating when my um when my next plan had expired during that time, I was getting emotional outbursts like sometimes i'll just be sitting there and i would really just start crying for no reason um uh, my emotions were definitely <laughs> regulating during the time but that's me yeah. personally for me i have no idea what my mood is like off of birth control i don't know if my depression and anxiety is because of birth control i will say my sex drive is definitely <laughs> was a little bit low like on the birth control like sometimes i was definitely not here for it my sex drive was a little low so my third time got on it it expired covid happened i was off it for about a month and a half i think my body regulated so i went to go get it back in i got it in soon as i got it in the week after i started my period i will leave pictures on the screen of my flow app so y'all can see i'm not kidding i kid you freaking not 
my period started lasting a month two months i think the last period that i just got off of today is june 12th 2021 the last period that i was on like just recently stopped like if it wouldn't have stopped i would have been hitting like three months very soon like i'm not sure what was going on um i don't know so i was expressing this to my doctors you know like hey my periods are lasting very very long like this is irregular i know my periods are irregular but this is totally irregular for me please keep in mind i am a heart patient so me bleeding like this is definitely not beneficial to my health it puts my heart into work into overtime so that was definitely another health concern for both me and my doctor i don't know my periods were just out of whack months weeks and sometimes even when i wasn't on my period i was still spotting and that was getting very irritating down there <laughs> not irritating like you know redness itching is just irritating like i'm not supposed to be wearing no pads and tampons for two three months like i don't i'm pretty sure our body is not meant to do that okay so that's that was it was a lot it was a lot going on and after a while you know we ran tests we did blood work um we did an ultrasound we did stomach ultrasound we did vaginal ultrasound and she said literally my body is normal no tests showed anything wrong with my body she didn't have answers from me and she was just like you know like it could definitely be the rod your body you know definitely could have regulated and it might just be throwing it out of rack she was just like what do you want to do so we kind of talked about it and we decided to take me off of the next phenomenon of course you know she was like you know no breath control you can't get pregnant so she did wait for my cardiologist to clear me for pregnancy just in case um by the way my cardiologist did clear me for pregnancy so she was like, okay, let's take it out. Let's see what your body does. And, you know, if it still keeps happening, we can put you back on birth control if we see that that wasn't a problem. I'm like, okay, cool. So I actually just took my birth control out, I want to say two days ago, maybe three. The first part of this video is when I had left the doctor. And I don't know, like... <laughs> I feel like my mood is okay like I don't feel like really happy or sad at the moment um I feel I feel chill I feel stable um I'm trying to give it some time to see what my body is gonna do how my body's gonna react like I said I've never essentially not been on birth control so I'm waiting to get a period I'm waiting to see what my body does so i'm sure that'll probably be in my next update the three month update so yeah um what else am i missing let me check so essentially like i said just to break it down my first time was amazing i didn't get periods that much i maybe got four a year second time it was more normal third time it was a no for me um she did ask me if i wanted the iud but me personally i don't i'm not comfortable with that um um <laughs> I don't want nothing up my JJ. Me personally, that's just me. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So like I said, that was really just my experience. I've taken it out. I'm definitely excited to see what my body does. I will say I also did Yanni Steam. Like the last when I finally got off my last period, I did a Yanni Steam. And I'm gonna do another one, try to catch it before I start my period in hopes that that will also help my periods regulate and help with, you know, cramps and my flow and all that. So I'm really not worried about my period being heavy because I'm crossing my fingers. I'm trying to, I was really trying to remember how my periods were like in elementary school. All I know personally is that I would bleed heavy, but I think they really did last for a short period of time. I think so we'll see I'm definitely hoping the Yanni steam helps with that so I guess in general for me um would I recommend the next benign truthfully it worked for me until I did it didn't work like the next benign worked for me until it didn't work anymore so I would just say um try it out
like try out the next panon see if it works for you see what your body does you can literally take the next panon out if you see that it's not working for your body like as with any birth control if you go on any birth control and you see that it's not working for you take it out so what i recommend it i guess in a nutshell i would just say try it because like they say everyone body reacts different to birth control the next panons the depots the iud's um whatever other birth control is out there that includes basically the video like i said i'll see y'all for my three month update um y'all follow me on social media uh instagram kelly.k period um check out some of the videos and as of now i am birth control free i personally personally don't want to get back on birth control at the moment um i'm just kind of gonna let my body do what it do and see what it do um and i gotta do a life update y'all i got married december 12 2020 my ceremony is this year ceremony um so yeah i gotta do a life update so as far as like pregnancy i'm not really worried about that me and my husband we keeping it classy <laughs> and safe um so yeah i definitely look forward to doing more videos like this i'll see y'all in the next video